Hey guys, it's Cook3 and welcome to part 9 of Let's Play Rhythm Beat the Paradise Beat the Tengoku. Uh, yes, in the last part we did column 8, and in this part I'm not going to speak for this first game because there's no way in hell I'd be able to do it, and I know that's not like the point, but I think, yeah, I think if I missed every single cue it would just be kind of boring to watch, so silence from me. However, I recall correctly, this song is pretty cool. I'm messing it up and I'm not even speaking. Here's an example of why I'm not speaking. Yeah. <laughs> That's where the end was a hit, but the rest was really quite terrible. I think you need to try and do that again, my good sir. <laughs> we can perform when we need to, but when people want us to, it doesn't, uh... Mm, yeah, we still need practice. However, first of all, Samurai Slice is perfect. If I manage to do it, Samurai Slice is perfect. If not, uh, Love Rap 2, superb. Did I ever mention how beautiful the visuals of this game are? Just look! Wah! Yeah, it's pretty awesome. <laughs> In any case, uh, yes, so Samurai Slice Perfect went pretty well. First time, all is happy. But 
first of all, love rap too. I failed this one so many times. Figure Fighter has come up as a possible perfect. Let's go and try that. I have a vague chance of doing it, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Love rap too, why? A quarter of an hour and I still haven't managed to do it. What two? What two? What two? And jab, jab. What two? What two? What two? And jab, 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 jab. Jab, jab, go, go, go! And jab, 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 go, go, go! And jab, 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 go, go, go! And jab, 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 go, go, go! And jab, jab, what two? Go, go, go! What two? And jab, jab, what two? Go, go, go! What two? And one two, one two, and jab, 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 and one two, and jab, jab, what two? And jab, 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 and one two, and jab, jab, go, go, go! And jab, 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 go, go, go! And jab, 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 jab. Jab, jab, go, go, go! And jab, jab, and one, two! And that was close. The first two times I kept failing on the same go, go, go! Boop, boop, and then he didn't do anything for the third one. I have a theory as to why I'm finding Love Rap 2 so hard. Is that the cues I cannot even slightly in my mind match up to the music. Which, for most songs, I can sort of vaguely get into the rhythm via that, but with Love Rap 2 it's basically I just listen to the first cue and I have to try and get around the sort of right time after that for my bit, which I still kind of have trouble doing because I'm ever so slightly off, so I think that's why I'm having trouble with it, but you guys can't really see that because I'm editing it all out. Just take my word for it, it's not going well. Another reason may be just that I, you know, I suck at this, but shush. Anyway. 
yeah, that took way longer than it needed to. Um, I'm just saying, I quite like the song for Love Rap, but I'm not such a fan of the controls. Hmm. I also think I like the female rapper's voice more in the American version, but the rapper's voice is better in the Japanese. It's weird. In any case, Cheer Readers 2, hopefully this one will go less abysmally. I'm a lot better at the controls with this one, generally speaking, so hopefully at least to the point of when I'm being silent, um, I'll be alright to go. I'm not sure why they're in a museum this time. Maybe it would have told me if I'd checked the info screen a bit more. Do you actually really... I like how they are all dressed up for the occasion as well. People have a lot of costumes for things. They have costumes for the farm, costumes for the museum. Again, it seems to me that they'd probably be kicked out for making such a noise in the museum, but... But surely, if people are in the museum, they're already there to learn. I mean, being in the library, it's more easy to be distracted, I'd say, like reading a book that you don't want to, or that you won't learn anything from. Um, at least not for your course, let's say. Because reading anything can teach you something. There's my words of wisdom for the day. No, oh, I do what? Why? You chased me to this as well. <laughs> Sorry, guys. You're making me self-conscious now with all your staring at me. Um, I was gonna say something, but all of this rather fast-paced book flipping has kind of got me distracted. Oh yeah, but in a museum, there's not much to do but sort of learn. At least I turned the right page. Um, but yeah, there's not really much else to do but learn and look around at stuff. I don't know. Then again, because you just get distracted by these guys, in fact. They're probably doing more harm than good. Kept in sync when it counted. But sometimes you were really out of sync. <laughs> oh, alright. You discovered something amazing at a museum. Were you at a museum or were you at an archaeolo archaeological dig? As if it's the latter, that makes a bit more sense. Okay, they're looking at old books in a museum, and... But that girl was using a telescope! You don't need a telescope to read books! No matter how bad your eyesight is, telescopes won't help! Or will it? No, I think it's a bit ex... Speaking of a bit of excess, a bit of excessive... How you doing there, Mandy? Or... What did the monkey call him? Oh, I think it was like Mandrew or something. Excuse me, but yes, um, whereas uh, Monkey Golf was the first minigame we ever encountered, as a remix, it's one of the latter ones, or actually, it's pretty much right in the middle, come to think of it. But you'll see the rest later. Um, and everything is suddenly a lot pinker. We're, we're golfing in heaven. Again, isn't that the reporter girl? Slash, the girl working at the factory. Not quite sure what happened there, but I'll roll with it, I suppose, to an extent. Something tells me I'm getting a try again. Because the controls are pretty simple for this one. And the cues aren't really all that bad so far. Although I'm imagining they'll probably come nasty later on. This is another one which has a particularly good song. I find that it's like songs which I like, but particularly just certain bits of. For me, it's this bit that's going on right now. It's just, yeah, that little da -da 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 that I like. So, bear that in mind if you're planning on using it for something. Don't you go trying to confuse me with your weird sort of almost offbeatness. But how do you actually get hair that big? Oh, I've just realised we're in um, Rhythm Paradise. If you look over on the left of the speech bubble, or the sort of magnifying glass bubble, I guess. Um, yeah, there's the big castle structure. Ha! You didn't get me with your ending mandrill. But, uh, yeah, I kind of suspect. Oh. oh, okay. I thought I was going to get a try again, but I guess my um, middle and end made up for the beginning. Perfect form! Good job, Lassie McGee. Good job. You know, I just realised, like, the people who've been introduced in the, um, in the second version of the songs don't get introduced in the credits. It's a bit sad. In any case, third remix, let's go. Well, 
Well, that went well. Uh, well, no, uh, no perfect for me, so let's just head on to Screwbot Factory 2 then, shall we? I don't think they introduce a new Screwbot, do they? No, I think I'm thinking of... Uh, yeah, I am just thinking of um, Rhythm Paradise, in which there was a sort of similar thing called Fillbots, and in the uh, second version of it, they introduced a new robot to fill, uh, which just made things a bit trickier, but overall was alright to deal with. This one I have absolutely no recollection of, so it may well be hell, or it may well be about as easy as the last two have been. Yes, it might be as difficult as Love Rap 2 was, or as easy as um, Monkey Golf and... Oh, I see. I see now. Cheery, just to, just to finish my thought. I'm ever so slightly missing all of these... Well, not all of them. Two of the... Oop. Did I just crush that guy? I hope not. That was kind of tragic. In any case, I did. Yeah. The darkness doesn't really... <laughs> I'm not quite sure what happened there. The darkness doesn't actually affect all that much. Um, except for, like... Well, actually, no, because you can still tell which robot is coming from the sound that it makes, I think. Yeah, because the crane moves faster when it's a little white one. So, the distracting visuals aren't really such a problem with this game, I find. It's just me being a pillock that's causing me to not do it absolutely flawlessly. Oop! I need to learn to shut my mouth. Although this is pretty cool effects. <laughs> I did like the little visual stuff there, I will admit. Um, the grey robots are as well and the white ones passed inspection. But just okay. You did everything right, but you still didn't quite do it perfectly. Robots have hearts too! Yeah. And? There's a whole song about it. One of the saddest Vocaloid songs ever. Moving on. No one noticed those excessive claw grabbings, did they? No, of course not. You did your job even in the dark. You shouldn't have to, but we decided to randomly flick the lights on and off for no reason. Have we been building giant robots this whole time, or tiny ones? Is he just ridic- Is he like Captain Olimar's dad? Because I could believe it. Also, Donk Donk. Bear <laughs> that in mind. Donk Donk. Let's give it a go.
I don't rightly recall if there's a Donk Donk 2. Mm, donk Donk Dose, as it were. In any case, we got a perfect in the first one, so who really gives a crap if there's a second one? 9 3 mix! Feel the beat! Maybe I will? As I recall, this one's quite a tricky one to keep up with. So that's lovely. Also, because it features Love Rap, too. Alright, what are you gonna do? You're gonna try and throw me off with all kinds of crap? Who is she again? I remember she was, uh, she danced with monkeys in the original one. The original Rhythm Tengoku. Okay! Oh, I remember this one. It's kind of tricky, but it's a pretty cool song as well, though. Rock business meeting! I'd love business meetings a lot more if there was electric guitar involved. Oof, I thought I was going to mess that one up. I'm quite good at messing things up, I've found, in my life. That did sound a bit more depressing than I meant it to, but... Uh, whatever. And Mandrill, what the hell are you doing with your hair? This is being ridiculous now. Don't you smirk at me like that. Just because we do fairly well otherwise. <laughs> oh yeah, remember this one? They have a fair bit of fun with um visuals going around, I think. Or it might just be that one little bit, but it had a good effect on me. I get the feeling that girl in the background with the country guitar is... um. A reference to something in the um, one of the other games, but I can't quite remember. Was it a country guitar? I didn't really see it very well. It looks pretty country guitar to me. Or classic guitar. Look at that chubby ass cat. This is the bit that usually gets me trapped. <laughs> Good old wrestler. I completely forgot he even existed. It's kind of strange. But yeah, sadly there is no, um... What was it called? Was it Fight Night? No. I had really great rhythm, so that's good. But what was that game called? In any case, there's no second version of it, unfortunately. No Rhythm Wrestler. It might be Rhythm Wrestler, actually. Call a Whopper! Oh no! I mean, oh yes! I guess it's probably quite a good thing for fishermen. And with that, we open up our next and indeed final column with Figure Fighter 2 the first, what was it called? Rhythm Wrestler Fight Night Ringside! Nope, never would have got that one not quite sure, well Rhythm Wrestler I suppose is fairly I could have just made it up from is this the sort of thing that would have been in the game but not quite sure where Fight Night came from in any case guys, in the next part we are going to start off the end with Figure Fighter 2 I shall see you guys then Goodbye.